Why Barrett Trump didn't need to be on the White House Christmas card. Twitter was abuzz this week when a photo of the 2017 White House Christmas card popped up on social media, and people noticed that a certain first son was missing. The photo shows President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump standing together, holding hands, in front of some grand White House doors, flanked on either side by flags and flopped Christmas trees. Trump's in a tuxedo and Melania is in an elegant black shift dress. As is typical, Trump's detractors shared various critiques of the Trumps and of the aesthetic and political implications of the image. But there was one major question, where's Barron? Yes, the first couple's 11-year-old son wasn't in the photo and many on Twitter wondered why. Perhaps some people were comparing this card with the family-friendly 2016 card issued by Barack and Michelle Obama. For the last card they sent from the White House, the former president and first lady included daughters Malia and Sasha in a portrait that shows the family smiling and happy, as well as elegantly attired. But as much as people wanted to attach a sinister motives to Donald and Melania Trump's decision to not include 11-year-old Barrett in the photo, there could be some good reasons for why he's not there. First, Melania Trump has proven to be pretty protective of her son's privacy, especially as he nears those sensitive teen years. She limits his public appearances and rarely posts photos of him on social media. That's unlike her stepdaughter Ivanka Trump who regularly shares photos of her three young children on her Twitter, Instagram or Facebook accounts and has netted criticism that she's exploiting her kids for branding or political purposes. But aside from Melania Trump reportedly not wanting her son to be overexposed, there also happens to be a long tradition of presidents and their families not turning up on the official White House holiday cards. Instead, the survey by the Business Insider of White House holiday cards over the decades shows that presidents and first ladies usually have opted for images of festive-looking interiors or exteriors of the White House. The Obamas presented to painterly images of their dog boat, padding through a snowy scene in front of the White House in 2012, or sleeping in front of a warm fire, with a heart decorated with garlands and red ribbon, in 2011. The George W. Bushes and the Clintons also went with White House scenes for their cards, often with a historic vibe. Bill and Hillary Clinton only turned up once on their cards. Their 1993 portrait showed them standing in front of a Christmas tree in the state dining room. Chelsea, like Barron, was absent. Chelsea was 13 at the time. Historically themed Christmas cards have definitely been the most common trend going back through the two terms of Ronald Reagan and through the Jimmy Carter, Gerald Ford. Richard Nixon and Lyndon Johnson eras. Even John and Jacqueline Kennedy kept their adorable young children, Caroline and John Jr., off their White House Christmas cards, even though they never seemed to fail to have their children photographed at other times when it could make for good peace. Are you? You'd have to go back to Franklin Delano Rosa Health's card from 1936 to see images of a president and a first lady surrounded by their offspring. The rows of health appear to have all their five surviving children and numerous grandchildren with them. Oh, and the card didn't come from the first couple but from Mrs. Rosa Belt aka Eleanor Rosa Belt. Such was the tradition back then apparently. 